So we've just demonstrated exactly how the pressure reducing valve works with varying upstream pressure, varying flow to maintain a constant downstream pressure all the way to zero. And we've explained a little bit about what some of the components are and exactly what their function is in the valve. What you can't see inside the valve uh, for reasons of long-term uh, success uh, and, and uh, reduced maintenance on the valves is that the ports on the upstream and the downstream side of the valves have what we call stagnation tubes. In some varying water conditions, over very long extended periods of time, or if valves are isolated and they're not, they're not actually functional for long periods of time, there's a remote possibility that the ports connecting into the inlet and the outlet side of the valve can block. So every valve is fitted with what we call a stagnation tube. And this stagnation tube gets fitted into the inlet and the outlet side of the valve, which travels through the wall of the body of the valve to take the best water profile from the center of the pipe and to avoid the possibility of uh, blockage of the ports. So the bottom line is these are fitted standard to every model 720 PRV to ensure that it's a long-term reliable valve. In addition to that, pressure reducing valves have, a, have several different options that can be fitted. And the standard strainer which we fit to most valves which filter the water coming through have a small cartridge screen. And the cartridge screen is exactly one third of the orifice size of the needle valve to ensure that we protect the needle valve. And this works perfectly well and is a perfectly functioning small strainer for the application. But if you have the possibility of uh, dirty water or you have uh, treated effluent or the possibility that some dirt might come through and block the strainer, for reasons of reliability, as shown on the valve here, we have the large control filter, which has a disc element inside, which has a very, very large surface area. It is exactly a third of the orifice size of the, the, the passage of the, uh, the needle valve. And although this costs a little more to fit, as an operator or as a designer considering the use of a product, the LC filter has a couple of main purposes. A, it ensures that the possibility of risk of, of blockage of a filter is reduced substantially. We're talking about up to 50 times the screen area of the standard cartridge unit as compared to the disc element. So if there is a risk, and this is a very high risk pressure reducing valve and you want to minimize risk, and at the same time reduce maintenance costs, an operator may only have to come to the valve every two years instead of every four weeks, depending on the water quality. It means that uh, a small investment in installing an LC filter has a very long-term effect in reducing maintenance and also ensuring that the valve is fit for purpose. Now, it's very important if you're coming to commission any of these pressure reducing valves that you come armed with the right information. Now, on our website, which is bermad.com.au, when you go to Waterworks and you focus on the Model 720, you can see the animation of the valve operating. You can see the instructions on how to set the valve. We have data sheets, engineering documents, but we also have installation, operation, and maintenance manuals. This can all be sourced immediately from our website and prepare yourself before you come to the application. The most important thing that we pride ourselves on at Bermad is being able to ensure that every installation goes ahead exactly as designed. So if there's any doubt about the operation, maintenance and setup on the valve, we're a national organization set up in each state so contact your local sales office for assistance or go to the website and prepare yourself for the operation of the Bermad Model 720 pressure reducing valve.